all this seems like common sense to me, yeah. but yeah. I am I am uh, personally surprised at the traction yeah. that mon modern monetary theory gets today. But oh I gosh. suspect yeah. I suspect it's political convenience. Um, they've right. they've taxed as much as they can. They barred as much as they can in order to do what they've done over the last two years, spend, what is it, six trillion, it's probably more, yeah. um, they they needed to print a lot of money. Um, yes. Is that why modern monetary theory is considered credible? And like, oh gosh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's alchemy, right? Wow. Like, we could just make up wealth out of nothing. Well, gosh, oh, wow. Okay, if you're going to start talking about MMT, which I like to call modern monetary tyranny, uh, then, uh, then that, that gets into some difficult issues. The, the point is that, again, you you know, you, it, was, there was, it was actually a left-wing economist, I, I don't know why I have to credit, Robert Cashman, who who quipped that in the old days, government just printed money. He said, now, now we're much more subtle. First, the government prints bonds, then it prints money. But although, of course, it, it's still considered Conceivable that when the government uh, debt expands, it could sell that debt legitimately to people who are buying that debt. So that can happen, uh, although it's a little bit complex. When it sells it abroad, it's probably selling that debt to other central banks in other countries. But it could it could legitimately be borrowing money, the government. But of course, we know that this time around, we, we do have data as released by the St. Louis Fed. It, the, the federal data is called FRED. And we, we do know, we can trace it easily the, the debt exploded and the debt held by the uh by the uh by the federal reserve exploded accordingly so we know that it was picked up by the fed but uh but to get to the mmtiers uh you know i mean uh, you know they're actually filled with a certain amount of word salad and they get sometimes you're punching a pillow with these people bear in mind that they will stipulate that that that, that you really don't have to finance the government through taxes or through or through legitimate sale of bonds uh, you, you don't have to do that all you really have to do is just have the have have the government just print bonds and then sell them to the Federal Reserve and the Federal Reserve will print the money that finances the government and that's supposed to be a real breakthrough in thinking but in fact it's it's like it's old wine and new bottles because that's what the government has been doing for years every time it fights a war it it, it, it can it, it can sell bonds but but most but most of those bonds are taken up by money printing and so that's an old story the uh, and uh, and uh, and and why do I I call it monetary tyranny because I assume that you don't necessarily just have to be an Austrian or an individualist or why not just be a, a you know an average liberal and say that if the government has the license to print money and not go to the people and say we we've got to raise the money through taxing and borrowing legitimately because because we we can't we, we can't uh, we we have no right to take the initiative and impose on you our power to print money and arrogate resources to ourselves unless we raise it legitimately through taxing it and borrowing i try to tell them <clears throat> i try to tell you no know, capital d democrats isn't that offensive don't you think and of course most of them actually believe that the government does raise its money through taxing and borrowing through legitimate borrowing and through legitimate taxing but it's got that loophole which is which is money printing and money and money printing is obviously tyrannical uh, for clear reasons now of course but it's okay with the mmt years because we imagine that the government is run by a bunch of prudent philosopher kings they do stipulate by the way that uh that 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 there's a danger when government does this the danger is price inflation and so you would have thought that the MMTers would have their tails between their legs right now because we are getting a certain amount of disturbing price inflation and yet they are apparently are arguing I mean, i'm not up to date on their ludicrousness i think they're arguing that it was all because of the supply chain problems that didn't have anything to do with the money supply i i'm, I'm not even quite you know I, i've given up on these people so yeah. i don't even know quite what they're saying now but but in any that's the broad brush stroke of, of, of mmts that 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 uh, the money that that the government really doesn't have to tax and borrow all it has to do is print money and i have i actually think that some of my colleagues like bob murphy they get into sort of pointless arguments with these people I would I would only just make the declaration that is tyranny doesn't it bother you to think that the government a government can simply print money at will anytime it wants to spend money isn't that disturbing to anybody any citizen and so that's where I like it like it to stop and start when I deal with the MMTers